Greetings guys and welcome to a brand new video. I know I haven't really posted many videos lately. I was supposed to post a bunch of film reviews, but instead I'm doing an end of the year roundup, but I'll talk about that later. I've been going to school and it's been kind of hard to put time in to do videos and stuff, especially since I'm trying to work on art a lot more. I've got like a webcomic idea, essentially a few actually. So I got my plate kind of full. That's kind of why I didn't talk about all these silly little things. And this kind of is another silly little thing. The Tumblr get has started. Otherwise, um, what I call the Pornpocalypse, in which Tumblr has updated its terms of service to exclude adult content, which it has been supporting, I believe, since its inception many years back. Now, people who remember DeviantArt from like 40,000 years ago might be familiar with this sort of thing because DeviantArt did the exact same thing. Um, plebs may also remember FanArt Central doing the same thing. So lots of art sites did this uh, decades ago. So this isn't technically something new. It's something that's happened before and something that people have gotten over since then. But I could imagine back when they happened, that was a big deal. Um, of course, I was a kid back then, so it didn't affect me. And now Tumblr is pretty dumb. I've never liked Tumblr. All my complaints with YouTube are kind of bigger with Tumblr. And then Twitter's the only alternative now. And Twitter's even worse because they ban people for uh, their political views and stuff. Like, in a way that YouTube doesn't even come close to banning people for. So... Yeah, anyways, Tumblr updated its service, you might think, oh, it's just in lines of that, they're trying to change their, like, community. Why do you hate all these porn blogs all of a sudden? And the thing is, they got in trouble recently, um, over the App Store and iTunes, so they're trying to appeal to Apple and iTunes, because everything on the, uh, Apple Store is safe for work, for one. And two, I, there was like a child porn fiasco with Tumblr, so I guess they're pretty much equating all porn to child porn. Now that's what this is all about. There was a child porn incident, so oh no. I realized my blog got locked out today because these um, these terms of service are effective today, they're enforcing them. But this is news to me, I didn't realize I'd be locked out of my blog. See, I set my blog as an, it, the main one, of course, I do have a safe for work one. Uh, they're both safe for work soon? I'm not gonna say now because the adult content filter thing doesn't work properly. <laughs> I wouldn't go perusing my blog if you don't want to see such things. I didn't come across this until recently. What if my blog was marked as explicit before December 17, 2018? In other words, if you opted to mark your blog that way so that it wouldn't show up to like people who are underage or people who don't have accounts. Um, and they say blogs that have been either self-flagged or flagged by us, as per our old policy, uh, will still be overlaid with the content filter when viewing these blogs directly. Uh, while some of the content on these blogs may now be in violation of our policies and will be actioned accordingly, the blog owners may still choose to post content that is within our policies in the future. So we'd like to provide that option. Users under 18 will still not be allowed to click through to see content of these blogs. The avatars and headers for these blogs will also be reverted back to default settings. Additionally, posts from these blogs are kept out of search results. Um, you can check and see if your blog is marked as explicit per our old policy, yada yada yada. Um, and they have a little appeal thing there. Uh, you can't even see that that's a URL. You just have to read it thoroughly and realize you can click on here or there. But, um, I don't think they realize this. Um, what they did was they disabled the option to remove the flag on your blog. This was intentional, otherwise they wouldn't have disabled it. But I don't think, judging, like, if, if we're gonna take this post here at face value, 
and say this is their intention, then they screwed up because if your blog was marked, you can't unmark it and you could post safe for work content, but it wouldn't show up and you wouldn't have access to your account. You wouldn't even be able to view your own blog. I tried to and it showed up like this Tumblr contains sensitive material uh, and it was set to like safe for work mode. There's no option to disable that as of December 17th. So you effectively get locked out of your blog even though they say they're not going to do that. They say you can post new content but effectively you're not able to. Then when you go to file an appeal they didn't update the, the message you get before you file it. And it says, you're welcome to post not safe for work stuff, and people are welcome to filter it out. It's a live and let live kind of thing, but I guess it's a live and let die kind of thing. Tumblr's James Bond with their license to kill blogs. <laughs> there was a workaround. Okay, first I'll talk about the new guidelines. It's kind of confusing because most of my content falls under the new guidelines, technically speaking, because they they state that erotica, nudity, blah blah blah, nudity and art can still be freely posted on Tumblr, specifically sculptures and illustrations. So 90% of my content technically falls under that, and they basically said. You don't need to worry if you've liked, reblogged, or commented on adult content in the past. It will just be flagged and removed from public view. That wasn't really the case. My whole account got locked. I lost access to it, and I couldn't do anything. I could have posted a new thing, but as I said before, it wouldn't appear at all because my whole blog was flagged. Um, and there's a couple of examples of pieces I've done that got flagged for possibly having adult content, which don't. I mean, this Omegon one, <laughs> kind of, it, it is suggestive, <laughs> but it doesn't violate their terms from what I've read, it, and it's just kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't have to worry about this sort of thing with YouTube. I, I don't have to worry that my video's gonna get flagged for this Omegon piece because YouTube's not that sensitive about that sort of thing. Especially if it's done in a comedic sense. And the crappy thing is, they either didn't see the repercussions behind this, they didn't set this up properly, or they deliberately did this to sort of stealth block people from their site. And the only way I got my blog back was actually to do a workaround that some other Tumblr dis discovered. Okay, here we go. So you go to the little button here. Here, I'll just go to mine, just, just to make it really- oh god. <laughs> oh, see, now I can't, um, I'll, I'll just show you, like, how it, how it looks here. Um, see, it looks like that when it's marked as explicit. Then you right-click on it and you hit inspect element. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Um, so I can show you this after all, because I did mark this blog as explicit as well. So right click, inspect element, boom. So now it should bring up, um, okay, it's a bit confusing, it does all sorts of stuff. Okay, I believe this is it right here. So this right here, yeah, that's the one. That's for the button. The reason why it's grayed out is because they added this little disabled thing here. So you double click on that, you delete it, you hit enter, boom. And that's the only way to get your blog back. And see it's set to default, I hit refresh. Oh, I hadn't set a picture anyways, but you clearly saw it change, so. Yeah, it changed from their, their one thing to another. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, Tumblr is kind of dead right now. They kind of shot themselves in the, the foot. I, I don't even know what it was really used for aside from that. I mean, it, it was like an ask me anything sort of dealio. But I mean, Curious Cat does that better, pretty much, anyways. 
<laughs> and it's like, I don't know, if they're just stepping into territory where, like, it's already oversaturated, and what they had before was unique. So, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out all that great for them, honestly. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see ya tomorrow, cause you know I do daily uploads, right? <laughs>